headset blogger here and this is the fourth instalment the fourth episode of Dog Headset Blogger's Journey into Tofu I like it when that happens so uh, let's have a look what we're going today we're going to cook roasted smoked tofu with a uh, with the selection of roasted vegetables in a tandoori paste. Mmm, lovely. So today I have a clear spot, naturally smoked tofu. You don't have to use clear spot tofu or smoked tofu. I just think it gives a bit of a bit of a, an angle on the flavour. All you need is one block of tofu. That's what you need at the moment. One block of tofu. So we should get on with the uh, marinating bit. So you take the pack off and you drain the liquid. So here's your block of tofu. It has a, a lightly smoky flavour, a uh, scent. Very nice, very nice. Not a full on barbecue smoky scent. But uh, quite pleasantly. Let's have a little bit. You can eat this raw, it's good when it's cooked. Really nice smoky flavour there. You know, like I've said before, tofu doesn't have a lot of flavour. So the smoked or marinated tofus are a good thing to use. So we're going to marinate this. Tupperware dish. And I've got tandoori curry paste. Just because I'm very lazy. Just cutting it roughly into chunks that big. Put it into the uh, Tupperware dish. So now I chuck some of the uh, tandoori paste on top. There you go. Looks like that. Nice tandoori paste. You can use any sort of curry powder, paste, or whatever you like. I like tandoori. You don't even have to use a tofu with this. If you want to use meat, and just do it like this. Yeah, meat is a tofu uh, is a tofu alternative. <laughs> Weird, I know. Yeah, uh, but. Um, so, right, I'm going to leave that to sit with all those lovely juices in the fridge, sealed. For, well, you know, you can do it for half an hour or so. I'm going to do it for long enough to have a shave and a haircut. Well, hello, back from the barbers and slightly more gorgeous. Anyway, better get on with cooking dinner before my lovely girlfriend gets back. I mean, uh, filming this uh, episode of the Dull Exit Blogger's Journey into Tofu. My hair may be nice, but I'm going to tie it back so we don't have uh, organic dental floss in the, in the dinner. First thing you've got to do, because we're doing roasted vegetables, Put the oven on to pretty darn hot. Get a baking tray. Splash of oil. I have shallots because they have kind of have a bit of a sweeter flavour than onions. Just pop them into the oil there. Couple of garlic cloves. Just take the skin off them. And I think I'll put a bit of chilli in as well. And a spoonful of um, the, the uh, just, uh, So we need to put this in the oven. Shall I put? Just to heat it up a 
heat the oil up and then you can put the other bits in. And leave that in there until the oil's hot. And so I can hear that the um, the shallots are just sort of like gently frying in the oil in there. So I'm going to get the marinating tofu. Hasn't changed much. It's just probably gone slightly pink. So you're wondering why have I picked why have I picked a yellow pepper? Because there's lots of red. Uh, that's why. I want to make it a visual treat for the eyes, as well as a, as a nasal treat for the nose. So here we go, just chopping those bits up into little chunks. And we've got a courgette, yeah, I don't like our up them. We've got fennel. I like fennel. Fennel's very nice. Well, this has got manky bits on the top, so I'll cut those bits out. And for the fennel, I'm just going to literally chop it in half like that. These tomatoes, they're quite important as well. Because you're going to use these, instead of making a sauce, you're going to roast the tomato. So. Put a cross in the top. Get some more garlic and stab it with that garlic like it's some kind of vampire tomato. Now, we've got some mushrooms as well. Chuck four, chuck them in there. Get as much as you can in the box. And it will shrink down a bit as it cooks. And what I'm going to do. So I want to chuck that in the oven until. Well, you need to give it a bit of a stir and a poke every so often. And basically chuck it in until it looks like it's cooked. back in the oven. It's alright, just going to give it a quick stir. So it's all gone down a bit there. Oh, that's looking good. Alright, you know what, I reckon we're at about time to do the couscous. Couscous. You don't have to do it with couscous, you could do it with rice or something like that. But couscous is great for impatient people. So, fill your kettle up. About 
one and a quarter mugs and you do double the water to couscous and th this is going to be a little little dull bed tip blogger secret add a bit of marmite to your couscous just to give it that kind of little baby stock kind of feel just not a lot just like that. Bang that in there and wait for the kettle to boil. So the kettle's just boiled. So I put about one and a quarter, so you do double the amount. just about double the amount. So I'm going to put two in. Oh no, I've lost the spoon in it now. A little bit extra. I've got the plate on top of there and we'll let it stand for about five minutes to absorb the hot water. So all right, I've left the uh, couscous for a while. Let's have a look. Loads of couscous. Enough for dinner to, for, for lunch tomorrow. So put a bed of couscous down first. Here comes the tricky bit of serving. with couscous. Mm. Tasty. I think I shall name this piece Tiger's Blood. <laughs> 